السلام عليكم this is a new dynamic script to automate creation of multiple section or data views with a selected view template then add in dimensions and data component like break line first to create section views this is script works for one or multiple elements in a view whether it's a vertical horizontal or inclined element we can get elements by three ways First, I filter the selection from model elements or all elements of a selected category or we can get all elements in active view we can use them together with no duplicates we can create three different section views for each element first cross section and elevation and the third would be plan or side view for example it would be side view for elements like columns and plan for elements like beams now let's have a quick trial select this beam Five section views. Back here, four cross sections, true or false. Select a view family type. True here to set a selected view template or false for none. We can create one or multiple cross sections for each element at different locations as percent of elements length. We have here three cross sections at different placements separated by comma. The first at 10% of elements length, second at 50% and last one at 90% of length. We can create as many as needed just to separate them by comma. First one here and this one at 90% of beams lens. This one is drawn from left to right. There is another script in our Dynamo playlist to mark each element's start and end point. Could be useful for elements like beams to check if drawn from left to right or right to left. Same options here for elevation and this plan or side view but one view for each this elevation and this plan all five section views we have through here to flip sections these sliders here for corroborate and offset this offset from element edges and view depths this depth and section location offset for example these cross sections here to be with a placement offset left or right and for this plan view to be top or down also for this elevation offset left and right because it could be positive or negative value as needed for section views naming there is two options one if this true to get the name from an instance parameter of each element for example it's mark here our beam b2 and the name b2 plus section view name Second option if false consists of the concatenated category type and ID of each element. Now let's have some trials to check the flexibility of the script before adding dimensions and the break lines. Let's 
this beam also this one b1 b3 this wall w1 w3 this column c1 2 3 For this wall, flip the section with location offset. We can see the difference. This one and this one, and the name category type and ID then section view name for 14 another parameter F1, 2, and 3. One cross section. Detail. Now to add dimensions and data component like break line to all section views. First for dimensions. Let's run the script to describe it. Select any prepared dimension type. this active view number of dimensions and views for horizontal dimensions can be down as here or top for offsets negative to be outside the group region and the positive to be inside same options also here for vertical dimensions left and right Now, top and right.
now before we run the script for all section views All section views. Throw for this option here to only add total dimension if it's different from element dimensions. If one element like here to want to be added, false to add it anyway. Now, to add a detail component like break line to section views that have any intersecting elements to group borders, then it check section views once. This is our script, break line family type, and some related options to be customized as needed. Now to run all views. number of break lines and its views aligned and rotated break line this is break line offset 150 leg length 200 also jag width as a percent of element width jag depth as a percent of its width we can hide these borders using a script like this for multiple views or we just uncheck this group region visibility option for only this view to check our section views We also can customize to add dimensions. This total dimension is added because this option is false here.
we also can add break line to holes this section group region is it changed because of the change we've made here this view is created with no view template none here If there is any changes to dimensions, update it to the elements. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.